Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we're gonna to be talking about Hummingbird's new Mega Live Imaging. Hummingbird has dropped some new information on their website, some images, some footage, and all sorts of other little goodies hidden in there. We're gonna be going over that. I'm gonna be showing you some images and I'm gonna be giving you my opinion of it. And I fully expect you guys to give your opinion down below in the comment section as well. If you're interested in the cards above and in the description below, I'm gonna have some videos linked to how this whole Mega Live imaging has progressed from the first announcement to some speculation video I made and also down to comparing it to an Oculus sonar, which I was really the first one to put that out and kind of started a trend of everyone doing that. So I'm gonna to apologize to you guys for that. But it was, a, I think, a fair comparison at the time. It may not show that way once we dive into this. Before we get started, I do wanna ask you guys to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Only 2% of you viewers are actually subscribed to my channel and we do all sorts of fishing content on this channel, anywhere from how-tos to reveals, to basic guides on boating maintenance and that kind of stuff. We do everything and anything, even some challenge videos. So make sure you do that and help me out. All right, so when you first come to Hummingbird's website, uh, the very first guy that comes up here is this Mega Live Imaging now. So let's check it out. Go to their little page there. It's Mega Imaging, but in motion. Mega live imaging. Must watch detail nonstop. We got our first little clip here. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is a YouTube video and I'm not going to be showing that. So because of monetization stuff, but feel free to come check this video out yourself. It is a promo video, so it's got a lot of non live imaging clips here, but you can see a little one here. Oh, we want to make sure we stay informed. Down mode. Okay, we're down here to the different modes. We got down mode and our very first clip here. Mm, looks like we've got a really wide angle. One, two, three, four, five feet. Looks like we got a 10 foot span here. Dropping a, a bait down. Uh, dancing it around and. Uh, that's about all we get on this one. I am seeing fish activity, uh, clear fish activity. Could tell that was the bait, obviously, just by the way he's moving it, whoever's fishing, or she. Uh, we got, what was that, 12 foot deep? Maybe, maybe 10 foot, actually. So we don't really have a really large area here, but it's pretty good for crappie fishing. Let's check out forward mode. Okay, we got 18 feet. Mm, really can't tell how deep that is. It's kind of behind there. Uh, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, here's 14 right there. Okay, 14 by about 18. Got some fish here. Um, looks like he caught one. Probably a group of crappie here. I don't really like how the images really distort pretty far away, but it seems like when they're real close, they're pretty clear. Like this guy here when he's getting caught, but you can clearly see that's a, a fish. It kind of reminds me a little bit of live sight a little bit. Don't really want to say that, but as far as the distortion pretty far away. And let's try landscape. Mm. That looks familiar. That kind of looks like the landscape mode that I showed on my Oculus. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one or not. I'll have to check that out later. But you can clearly see the fish. You can see their shadows really well. But when you get pretty far away, Things start to distort quite a bit. So we got our three modes. Obviously, 
Let's see. Mm, some words. Transducer accessory. Mm. Connect an Ethernet and power cable. Okay, we, we already kind of knew that already. Mount it on your trolling motor shaft. It's got a special mount for all three. Mm, I don't know. There's our first piece of structure. Uh, it does look pretty clear. I'd like to see some more images of some structure, but so far all we got was those fish. Yeah, there's that same image of the structure there. Kind of the down down imaging. Uh, this this is actually a pretty large image. It's actually this is probably a better promo image than what they were using up there. Uh, we're down to thirty foot deep, uh, thirty foot wide. You know, zero here in the middle. This tree looks pretty clear right underneath it, all at about fifteen twenty feet. Uh, maybe it's the angle of the transducer kind of gets weak over here. See the ground pretty clear. But everything's kind of got this round shape to it. Obviously, probably because the sonar is round. Either this is the, the receiver. This is probably a receiver. This is probably the sonar producer. And that's why the images kind of get a round shape at the edges. At least, ah, uh, that's my theory there. But that's actually a really solid image. I really like this picture. And that's all we got. Uh, we can look at the compatible fish finders. Obviously, it says Apex, Solix, 8 through 12, G3N, 8 through 15, G4N. Uh, you have to have Mega Down Imaging or Mega Side Imaging. So those are requirements for those. Let's take one final look here. See if I see anything that I didn't see the first time. Dropping his bait down. Little fish here, little fish there. Little fish everywhere. Forward mode is where I typically keep my Garmin. And landscape mode is not something I've played with a whole lot. But you do get to see these fish pretty well. I wish uh, we had a depth on here and knew exactly how deep we were. Pretty pretty good range here. Nothing crazy though. Okay. All right. So we just took a dive into what Hummingbird is portraying to us of what Mega Live Imaging looks like. And before I give you my opinion, I want to hear your opinion in the comments below. Did you get it done? Okay. Well. My opinion is, is I don't want to be too optimistic and I don't want to be too pessimistic. The images were of good quality. I'll give them that. They were good quality. What I'm missing is pictures and images of structure, videos of structure. We only got one still image of some of a lay down and cover. We didn't see any grass. We didn't see any trees. We didn't see any fish around those trees. I will say that I didn't see any feedback. I didn't see any noise uh, like you, the ghost tree or anything like that or any, any just random randomness. I didn't see that. So that is a positive, but I didn't see the cover and the fish in cover like you do with live scope and active target. Uh, comparing this to active target and live scope, at this point, I still am gonna put them two above Mega Live Imaging, that's just my opinion. I didn't see all the images I wanted to see, what I was hoping to see, but I did see some solid quality stuff that, hey, if you're a hummingbird person and this is, and you don't wanna add another unit or another thing to your boat, I think you're gonna be all right. I think you're gonna be able to do almost everything that those other guys can do. I think we're gonna be missing the structure. I'm not sure exactly why they didn't show us more images of structure and crappie and cover and that kind of thing because that is what sold live scope. That is kind of what sold active target is showing that fish around structure. 
I don't know why they didn't do that here, but maybe they will and later on down the road, they'll, they'll update their website and include that. But for now, they didn't, so I'm gonna have to assume that there's something wrong there. And if that's the case, it may be kind of a bad thing, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt for now and say, hey, I think this is still gonna be pretty solid, especially if you wanna to stick to one, one system on your boat. Once again, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed my opinion, or if you hated my opinion, hey, leave me a like or a dislike. Either one's good by me. And I appreciate you watching. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. But just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.